How about Mike Gesicki? So Mike Gesicki had all the potential and all the upside in the world when he was coming out of Penn State. You know, the Miami Dolphins took him in the second round, and he was a little slow coming out of the gate. You know, last year he really started to come full circle and showcase what he can do for this offense. And now I think we're starting to see Gesicki actually fulfill that potential that we all thought he had when he was coming out of Penn State. This is someone that is so versatile. You know, he does so many things well at tight end. He's great on slant routes, and he does a good job of boxing out the defender with his body while going over the middle. You know, typically slant routes are easier throws for the quarterback, so he's really helping out Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tua Tagovailoa by using his body to, you know, box out these defenders and make these catches on these slants. Then he's also good at, you know, working the seam and going vertical. I've seen him do good work on corner routes and, you know, uh, flag routes, whatever you want to call them. We also can't overlook that he's great in the red zone. When you have someone that you can throw those fade balls or those 50-50 balls up to, and, you know, Gasicki's good enough to elevate above these defenders and make the catch in, in the red zone, you know, that leads to points. You know, when you can get those touchdowns and you don't have to settle for field goals, that's so huge for your offense. Gasicki's great in the red zone. And we also can't overlook the fact that, you know, he's a little bit slimmer than Rob Gronkowski. You know, Gasicki's uh, 249 pounds, I believe. Gronk's playing around 265. So Gasicki is, uh, you know, lighter on his feet than Rob Gronkowski. He runs a little bit better. And while, you know, the, while he gives up a little bit in terms of blocking, you know, there are some advantages to having uh, a tight end that runs like a wide receiver. You know, he can get separation and uh, create plays for this offense. I do believe he is one of the most important, if not the most important uh, offensive player that the Dolphins have right now. That's, you know, if Tua Tagovailoa doesn't fulfill his potential, obviously Tua can be better. But right now, you know, Gasicki, if you had to take one player from that offense, if you were on a different team, Gasicki's the guy that you would want to get from the Miami Dolphins right now just because he is a matchup nightmare. And if he keeps improving, he has a chance to be really, really good. Uh, you have to applaud Mike Gasicki because obviously he's been putting in the work and, you know, when you blend that with his natural abilities, he is a very good football player. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.